What's up you guys? We're in San Francisco. I have a few hours in between meetings today to go to some stores. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I'm feeling a little bit tired today. We had a late night yesterday. Meet Shelly, she ended up slipping and we had to um, go to the hospital just to check on the baby, like check its heart rate and do some blood work and stuff like that. But everything's fine. We didn't get home till like 11 o'clock and running a little low on sleep. So it might be a, more of a chill vlog, but should be fun. Going to go to Cotton Sheep first. They have Capital and a variety of different accessory brands and also baby clothes. I'm on a mission. I want to get something for my daughter today. So it should be pretty good, but let's get going. I got this little onesie and some shoes for my daughter. I'll show you guys later. But pretty cool store, especially if you're in the capital. If not, it's pretty limited selection, but pretty good people overall. The sales associate was like trying to suggest some different stuff to me, but honestly, when I go to a store, like I probably know what I like or like what I want to see. And so just like let me browse, but that doesn't mean I don't want you to talk to me. I still want you to be friendly, but you don't need to be like trying to sell me on the products, you know? So no shade to them, but that's just a personal preference. Like what do you guys like when you go to stores? Do you like them to really be engaged or like totally hands off or somewhere in between like me? I'm always kind of worried as well that someone's like gonna see one of these videos and then maybe I'll be like talking about them and then they're like, oh, like why is he talking about me? But anyways, I'm just paranoid. It's gonna head over to Modern Appealing Clothing now, which is my favorite store in San Francisco. They've been around for over 40 years. A um, little fun fact, they actually knew Daiki Suzuki, the creative director and designer behind Engineering Garments when he lived in San Francisco, like, 40 years ago. So they're really OGs, super cool store. It's like your quirky aunt's house who just has amazing fashion from Comme des Garçons, Dries Van Known, tons of Japanese brands. Just an awesome store. So I'm really excited to go see it. and welcoming and humble people. I love going to their store. I didn't see anything today, but definitely love shopping there. And if you guys ever are in town, I would highly recommend it. So now I'm gonna walk up to Japantown where 45R is. If you're not familiar with that brand, it's basically like the OG artisanal Japanese brand that does a lot of like denim, indigo dyes and stuff like that. Super expensive. It was like Visvum before Visvum became Visvum, if that makes sense. So super cool brand, excited to see what they have.
25R was really cool. Nothing really for me today, but so I realized that there's pros and cons for me trying to make vlogs without Michelli. The pros are I can go a lot longer without eating, and I don't have anyone telling me, why haven't we got food yet? So I'm really hungry, but we powered through, got to the three stores I wanted to go to. So now we're gonna get some food. The downside is people kind of look at you like you're crazy, especially in stores if you're trying to film anything. I don't know why, but a lot of stores I feel like they want you to promote pictures on social media, but if you try to do videos, they kind of look at you like you're crazy, but hey, it is what it is. But anyways, I'm gonna go get some like Middle Eastern food now. The Evan Kenori store was awesome, very spacious. Neil, the sales associate, was great. The space was a little bit dark, but the natural light that did come in from the skylight was beautiful. You guys know I'm a big fan of Evan Kenori. If you ever do find yourself in San Francisco, I think it's worth it to make an appointment or come on the weekend when they're open and check out the space for yourself. What is up you guys? I just got finished getting ready and I wanna talk a little bit about my outfit because I feel like there's a lot of bad or maybe just like misguided advice on fashion YouTube by people that maybe don't have corporate careers or they're in a more creative field. Like I saw a dude recently recommend you could wear to a meeting an all black outfit with a black leather trench coat which if you work at Balenciaga, like, yeah, that's really appropriate. But for anyone in like a corporate job, like imagine being an accountant or an analyst and showing up to your team meeting wearing that, like you would look insane. So anyways, three tips to think about what to wear to a business meeting. Number one, what is your company's culture and its dress codes? I think that's a really helpful baseline for what you should wear. Number two, who are you meeting with? Is it someone internally that's senior to you that might be a little bit more formal in the way they dress? Or is it someone at the same level as you where you can kind of wear what you would normally wear? I think that's really important to think about. And number three, where's the location that the meeting's happening? Is it at their office? Is it at a, a lunch spot or a coffee place? Where is it? And kind of how is the dress code generally at those locations? So three things to think about. So for my example, I work in tech and I know it's a very casual environment. And I am this particular leader. While she's not gonna show up wearing like sweatpants, I also know she won't show up wearing like a power suit. So I wanted to wear something that had a collar on it, kind of a subdued classic pattern that just looks nice and presentable. For my bottoms, I just put on some dark wash jeans. I feel like dark wash is a little bit more um, formal or it's a little bit cleaner looking than like a distressed or washed pair of jeans. And you'll notice I didn't want to go like super oversized or relaxed, but it's not like over the top. Because again, like when you're thinking about a corporate job, it's not about you really having self-expression, but sometimes it's a bit more about you conforming to the norms of the situation that you're in. And finally, I have on my Solomons, which is probably the most casual piece of the outfit overall, but I think it just kind of looks together and has that kind of casual, businessy San Francisco vibe that I was going for. So anyways, I'm gonna get going now, but I just wanted to say that because it's been really irking me <laughs> to see people give misguided information on what to wear to a business meeting. So see ya. All right, y'all, this is gonna conclude the San Francisco portion of the video. Lunch was really good, got some insightful tidbits from the person I got to meet with, and Italian food is always a good option, so really enjoyed it. But I'm at the airport now, about to head down to Los Angeles, so I'll see you all in Los Angeles next week for part two of this vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching. See y'all next time, peace.